Today, when you hear the word models, you immediately think of people in ridiculous clothes strutting down a fashion runway. But when I was a kid, models meant you were sitting at the kitchen table gluing together tiny parts to build a model airplane or a car. Now, back in Thomas Edison's day, models were something completely different. The models old T. Ed made changed the world. Let's just say that without them, today's fashion models would be strutting down that runway in the dark. Some of history's most noteworthy inventions, like lamps that could light up an entire city, began with tiny models, patent models, that served a very important purpose. A patent is defined as the exclusive right granted by a government to an inventor to manufacture, use, or sell an invention for a certain number of years. I wanted to know more about patent models, so I went to the archives of the Henry Ford in Dearborn, Michigan, and met up with the museum's chief curator, Mark Gruther, to find out about their collection of patent models submitted by Thomas Edison. So for many people, including Thomas Edison, applying for a patent, you'd submit a model. Right, and I guess what this really comes down to is you're going to try and make the very, very best case to convey what it is you are trying to patent. It allows you to hedge your bets. It allows you to make a better case for yourself. As you know, it's like the picture's worth a thousand words. It's the same for a model. Patenting has always been important business, and still is today. Almost every modern breakthrough has a patent. It offers an inventor legitimacy, credit, and protection. During his lifetime, Thomas Edison was granted 1,093 patents. So let's talk about these now. What is this? <clears throat> This is one of the really, really big patents. This is the model that was submitted in late January of 1880 for the electrical system. So again, when we think of Edison, we think of the bulb, we think of the light bulb, but really it's about the whole system. So this really is a big one. In short, this model was designed to illustrate how an electrical distribution system could work. It doesn't work. It is a model. It was submitted like the written uh, description and a diagram but it's a kind of three-dimensional diagram. It works in the mind, hopefully. It works in the minds of the patent examiners. So as it says here, and this is original, this is the patent for the system of electrical distribution. Right. So I and mean, this isn't a no, little No, this isn't tiny. a little widget. No, <laughs> this is uh, it's an entire infrastructure. This was his vision for something that could be overlaid into a city many, many square miles, providing light and power to consumers. We have this to thank for that. Absolutely. Amazing. I mean, really amazing, and it's just great looking. Not every invention that was modeled and patented became an archetype, but if nothing else, it was very likely a step in the right direction. This is a patent model for a recording telegraph device. So this was designed to record incoming telegraph messages. So this is a patent model for an invention that in and of itself, for its stated purpose, wasn't successful, but Led. It, it led to other investigations to that, that again transformed our world, that whole notion of recorded sound. And apart from this shining achievement, the innovative Edison Lab, and the 1,000 plus patents to come out of it, illuminated the world most of all through displays of imagination and grit.